the most contested city on earth is also one of the most beautiful. Jerusalem's scope of history is staggering, and the major role the city plays in the traditions of all three major monotheistic faiths has led to it being continually fought over across the centuries. Number 1. Haram al-Sharif Lauded by Jews, Christians, and Muslims, this is the site where Abraham, father of all three monotheistic faiths, is said to have offered his son up as a sacrifice to God, where Solomon built the first temple for the Ark of the Covenant, and where the Prophet Muhammad is said to have ascended to heaven during his early years of preaching Islam. Number 2 Western Wall and Jewish Quarter The Western Wall is the surviving retaining wall of Jerusalem's first temple. Commonly called the Wailing Wall due to the people's laments for the loss of the temple in AD 70, it is now the holiest site in Judaism and has been a place of pilgrimage for the Jewish people since the Ottoman era. Number 3 Church of the Holy Sepulchre for Christian pilgrims, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is Jerusalem's holiest site and is said to have been built on the site where Jesus was crucified. The site for the church was picked by Saint Helena, mother to Constantine the Great during her tour of the Holy Land. She was the one to announce to the Byzantine world that this spot was the Calvary, or Golgotha, of the Gospels. Number 4 Armenian Quarter Running south from the citadel, Armenian Patriarchate Road is the main street of the old city's tiny Armenian quarter. Within the narrow lanes here are the Ste. James Cathedral and Ste. Mark's Chapel, which receive much fewer visitors than others in the old city. Number 5. Via Dolorosa. For many Christian visitors, the Via Dolorosa, Way of Sorrow, is the highlight of a visit to Jerusalem. This walk follows the route of Jesus Christ after his condemnation as he bears his cross towards execution at Calvary. The walk is easily followed independently, but if you're here on a Friday, you can join the procession along this route led by the Italian Franciscan monks. Number 6 Citadel Tower of David The Citadel, popularly known as the Tower of David, actually has no connection with David, having been erected by King Herod to protect the palace he built in approximately 24 BC. His original citadel had three towers named after his brother Phaziel, his wife Miriam, and his friend Hippicus. Number 7 Christian Quarter The Christian Quarter of the Old City runs north from the Jaffa Gate and is centered around the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Within this tangle of alleyways are some of the old city's most popular tourist souvenir souks and a whole caboodle of churches that are well worth exploring. Number 8. Muslim Quarter The most bustling and alive district is the Muslim Quarter, which is home to the best souk shopping in the old city. This district roughly runs from Damascus Gate through the northeast chunk of the old city. Plenty of fine surviving remnants of Mamluk architecture line the streets here, including the 14th-century Khan al-Sultan, Bab al-Silsila Street, where you can climb up to the roof for excellent views across the higgledy-piggledy lanes. Number 9 Mount of Olives Overloaded with churches and home to the oldest continually used cemetery in the world, the Mount of Olives holds particular interest to religious pilgrim travelers to Jerusalem, but even the non-devout can appreciate the spectacular old city panoramas from the peak. Number 10 Mount Zion Mount Zion, the small hill immediately south of the old city's Zion Gate, is home to Jewish and Muslim shrines as well as a number of churches. Since the Byzantine age, Mount Zion has been revered as the place where Christ celebrated the Last Supper and where the Virgin Mary spent the last years of her life, according to some Christian traditions, another tradition says her last days were spent in Ephesus in Turkey. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.